Matt about my Turkish friends. I have yet another video for you guys today. We're starting off with some Hydra. Nadenmi illegal. Uh, we have English subtitles thanks to Hyena1940. Appreciate you, dude, uh, for helping me out. Uh, Hydra is probably my top five favorite uh, Turkish artist. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly confident. Uh, anyways, let's get started. We got some buffering. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just going straight, straight off the bat. Uh, what is he? Why is what illegal? Why is okay? Oh, I. Neden is why. And then I guess me is is it, and then illegal. I don't think he's talking about anything specific right now. I think he's gonna give a. I guess general maybe he's gonna give examples of certain things that are, I feel like are uh, laws that are kind of stupid that <laughs> like why are certain laws why okay I'm done talking let's go you think I swim in money I'm pretty sure most um, rappers are not rich, um, and those that seem like they're rich um, is just uh, a show. They don't. A lot of these people like rent vehicles, rent jewelry, like that happens, and so even though Hydra, you know, maybe has you know millions of views or whatever, he's probably still getting screwed by the label or by you know society. Why the ones with asses worth million dollars be seen in bed? <laughs> That's a good question, man. So, there's two um, asterisks I hear here number one is a product producer of many tv shows oh it seems like he's just kind of maybe taking advantage for some money i guess some prizes and then number two is definitely joe foster was an actress with american father and turkish mother oh Okay, he doesn't care about the overdose death okay. Damn. Girls be saying deuces to their family just to, you know, make a couple bucks, be rich or whatever. Well, uh, we both know, I guess, that he doesn't like Erdogan. He start, uh disregarding the the translation. He's starting off the. Uh, he has this flow where he starts off every line in a similar style. I don't know if you guys are catching that. <laughs> He's upset. He's definitely angry at uh, some of the stuff people are um, enjoying, I guess you could say, maybe. He knows his value. He absolutely knows his value. Okay, this is interesting. Is it illegal to flash your boobs on Twitter then? How the hell is it legal 
to keep it going. It's halfway done. I think that's what he's trying to say. So it's kind of like you can... Uh... Actually, hold on. I'm rereading this and I'm kind of getting a little bit confused. Oh, basically, how is it legal to basically... Why is it legal and how is it legal to be nude on, on Twitter and social media? Interesting. Okay. So we got number three. Errol Cosse was a singer who was sued for harassing another singer. Blew, blow out my fire was one of the things he texted her. Okay. There's a lot of a lot of pervs out there, I guess. Music is simpler than the lies that the media tell. 100% true, bro. <laughs> There's a in the in America, there's a word we like to call uh, call these people. We call them simp's. S i m p s. I'm pretty sure. Basically, guys who pay uh, girls online, but they don't get anything really out of it. Um, no sex. No, no nothing. They just kind of give them money because they're. I, I don't know what's wrong with them, but that's what they do. <laughs> and he's like, he's telling these guys, like, why are you so stupid? <laughs> I like this. This is actually really, really good line. I'll keep writing as long as they misinterpret my lyrics. It seems like if everybody understood his lyrics and uh, kind of comprehended it, there would no need to be other songs because he would have done his job, right? He would have, um, that would have been it, you know. But because they don't understand that they misinterpret, he has to keep writing to kind of teach him. But they keep not learning, so he has to keep writing. I think that's what he's saying. I could be wrong, of course. These last two lines as well. They think we're rappers, so we bust in places. You know, they assume like rappers are thugs, you know, just shooting out places or whatever, but a majority of them, or at least a lot of them, are just speaking truth and um, being real. Because there's no market. Yes, either. Okay. Oh, there's so much to talk about in the song. And it's fantastic because I can understand a lot of it, a lot of what he's saying. Let's see. Uh, RTU 4. Supreme Board. So actually, Isu told me. That RTU kind of uh, screens shows and media and television or whatever before it's on air to see if there's anything bad. Um, um, that way they can address it and make it good, I guess. Uh, there was actually a tweet <laughs> about uh, Akon, the protector. Uh, I actually like that show. I know it's kind of a meme for a lot of people in Turkey, but I generally enjoy it. Uh, and apparently, because nobody watches it, uh, they kind of skipped over it because there was some sort of scene that they would have taken down. But uh, that's besides the point. I'm going to try to stop less because taking up a lot of time. <laughs> But I understand a lot of what he's saying. I mean, just right here, if he's wearing the album, there's no approval from it. It's just, they're so, um, conservative, I guess, like, 
anything is that is remotely bad should be completely wiped from the face of the planet. Everyone swears. Damn. Is he talking about Pele, the Brazilian football player? Oh my gosh. Man, Hydra just went off everything that's like so relevant. It's not like he's talking about some of these, some abstract things, but he's talking about like these everyday practices that happen in in Turkey and and, and also in some other parts of the world as well. Um, this is like absolutely just relatable and real to a lot of people. Um, oh, Hydra, this is why you're my favorite, dude. Nine out of ten for me, easy. Nine out of ten. Um, hopefully, you guys agree with me that this was a good song. If not, maybe tell me why not. But he just seems like a really, really genuine dude. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go on to the next song. We have Motive and WA. Um, I actually listened to Motive and WA. I'll be straight up uh, on my live stream. But then again, I was kind of tired and I don't really remember it. And I was listening to it without lyrics. But this one does have lyrics, so, uh, or subtitles. Um, so I'll, I'll rewatch it again. Uh, I don't remember most of it, so it'll be kind of like it's a fresh new song. Let's go. Thanks to Furkan, Chedek Turk, and MCK for editing it. Straight off with the auto tune. I'm definitely gonna have to listen to his diss to Joker because that's if you're dissing to Joker, that's you got some guts. I like this beat. Of course, it's kind of repetitive, but okay. Sounds good, at least. Illuminate the night. That can mean several different things he's talking about. Shooting up some guy. Or he's talking about having a really good concert. <laughs> Sulfurasi, 
you six or something means it definitely has like a lot of uh like american hip-hop influence <laughs> You sex and something means it'll be middle kick. So I never been a Mr. D, me so you'll miss him sick to the kick. Uh, Jalo and WA, Mangario can never pray. Jalo and WA, in some barbism lesser. Jalo and WA, Sadelar go at a shot. Jalo and WA, your mischief be so loud. Jalo and WA, Motoko Alla Maja. Jalo and WA, Yalmeza Slasakata. Jalo and WA, in some barbism lesser. The B is definitely fire. I like this boat scene here. And the action of this scene too. Oh, alright. Got a Tupac shirt. That's what's up. Ooh, I like that. My body's a guest only in the cursed world. This world is so messed up that he's just kind of like here for a limited time. He's just a guest, you know. He'll be gone soon. <laughs> Trouble never comes along. Be in a good mood. <laughs> no problem. I mean, I guess so, yeah. Respect to VO, man. R.I.P. We're still no better contact with the stars than we do every way to side road location. Is there no joke? So side road is kind of uh, where he grew up, according to the uh, little message in the description. There's no better contact with the stars than we do. Not sure what that exactly means. All right. Um, what can I say? Um, I don't know if NWA means the same thing as what I'm thinking because of, uh, you know, Ice Cube and Dre and uh, G Easy. Not too easy. Well, NWA were a group, right? And it meant with with attitude, right? <laughs> and so I don't know if there's a I don't know if there's a correlation there, but uh, I, I I don't know what that idea is. I'm gonna be honest again. I don't know what he's talking about here. Uh, there are certain lines I understand, but I don't like I don't understand the the main idea here. Um, probably because I'm a bit stupid, but whatever. Uh, I like the beat. The video is cool. Um, of course, a little bit repetitive. Uh, so I'm going to give this like a seven, seven and a half. I'm definitely going to have to check out his disc though to Joker. That'll be really fun. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Keep suggestion and I'll see you guys next time.